it's a she you defense time and not being able to stream uh, I, I will record my full clear starting from the trash uh, from the trash tears uh, i was hoping that i would be able to stream uh, uh, today uh, we had a typhoon yesterday which means most uh, activities are are closed well we're closed today only a few are closed but i took uh, uh, the day off regardless because um, after a typhoon there is always some stuff to tidy water everywhere and all sort of issues that you know when, when you stay home it's easier to handle and unfortunately some of the issues are related to the um, electricity availability in my area because there was a lot of very heavy wind uh, and a ton of rain really really a ton so Every now and then the electricity goes off, which is less than ideal when you're using a computer. And I, I did it one time in the past, probably a year or two ago, but I tried to stream and within the first 15 or 20 minutes the stream went completely off due to a power outage. So I was like, no, we, we, don't, we don't do that. <laughs> because it feels so mega bad. So what I will be doing, I just clear the trash floors. Uh, uh, starting really from the beginning, and then we will do the rest. Speaking of the trash floors, I really hope that Mihoyo will do like um, their other games where once you complete uh, the end game mod, uh, whatever it is, uh, and you get full rewards, um, you, you can skip the first three floors. Uh, it would make sense because. I, I clearly missed something. But it would make sense because at the end of the day, if you're getting max rewards, the full stars. Uh, in the Shiu Defense 7, uh, Shiu Defense 4, and arguably 5. Uh, uh, if there was how to play, you could how to play them. And it, it's something that Mihoyo has introduced uh, in all its games eventually. I really hope that well, that that eventually will happen uh, fairly soon, just because you know these floors are in particularly interesting. Enemies deal borderline no damage, they die very quickly. Go. I'm waiting for Yanagi, of course. It's about uh, one more week of waiting before her banner land. Maybe less than a week. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I will probably record uh, my pools uh, instead of doing, instead of planning a stream, just because I want to be able to play her from the beginning uh, of uh, her banner. And, but the day that she has the banner, there will be no way for me to uh, to play. I will be busy with work, I will not be able to stream anything. Uh, it feels bad, man, but I guess I will record uh, my pools uh, to see if anything happens. I'm not guaranteed, so it's not going to be particularly exciting. But, you know, we just ignore that that is the case. So when I do my pools, when she shows up on screen, I can... Oh, my God! Oh, this changes everything! Or, you know, something like that. Uh, and put a soy jack on the screen. Uh, so every <laughs> everyone in my Discord can be happy. Because <laughs> we always make those kinds of jokes. And then I can proceed to make a... A, a super in-depth day one guide while my Yanagi is level 10 and saying that yeah her best um, engine is her signature engine her best uh, disc set um, is her signature disc set and so on and so forth I, I've seen some people arguing that the electricity set uh, can be occasionally situationally better but when, when you start to put things like if when under certain circumstances then <laughs> it's no longer something that I'm interested in farming. Especially because the, um, the electric set is in a domain for which I'm not particularly interested. And the, the signature set of Yanagi has a little bit the same issue, which is that the defense set is absolute ass. Like, sure, you, you can equip Caesar if you have Caesar, and you can equip Seth if you have Seth, but it's not like... Uh, it, you winning, or rather succeeding or failing in the end game, is because your defense support has an extra 10% uh, in a stat over the other one. It, for me, it's, it's a very, very relevant set, uh, which means that half of the energy that it, coffee, coffee, half of the coffee that is spent um, in that domain, I don't know the name of those things in this game, is completely wasted to me. So what I'm currently doing is uh, 
I'm farming the eyes, an anomaly set, that because they are together. That one is a very, very nice place to farm. And then everything that I recycle, I go to the... Um, the grass lady, I, I don't remember the name, the shop that sells... Uh, oh, the music lady, the, mu the music lady. And I craft the, the Chaos Jed uh, set uh, from there. So far it's been working pretty well for me. Uh, Which one? Low floors. This is going to be extremely long, uh, and I, I blame Mihoyo for that, just because I cannot skip the floors 1 and 4. And there are a little bit the bullet slash uh, damage sponges uh, because they are low level enemies, but just because they are elites, uh, some of them are elites, the amount of hit points that they have um, is inflated, uh, so it takes a little bit longer to kill them. N not these trash enemies, of course, but I still find it rather annoying to have to go through enemies. Please come a bit closer. Oh my god. I just wanted to buffer. Okay. Oh, well, you can hand it quicker. Apparently not. The thing that triggers me a little bit is that I've still not been able to find uh, a decent uh, attack percentage uh, disc, si disc 6 uh, for her with, you know, a bunch of uh, anomaly proficiency. It's very, very annoying. Oh, here we need to switch. Yoink. Wh why do you even do this, Mihoyo? Like, you know that everyone is going to swap. So, why even doing it? Just don't. Put the same weakness enemies on one side and the same weakness enemies on the other side. And, you know, if I completely change them, sure, change them. But if you're just swapping them, it, it's just annoying for, for the player base. Uh, just need to, to stare at her for a moment to... To improve my day. Hello, pumpkin people. Having a good day more for the most part. I had to go to to get a birthday cake. I think I missed the bath. I went to get a birthday cake today. So we have a birthday in my family soon. Not mine, so don't worry about it. And can I can you let me switch to the character? Okay, thank you and did a little bit of birthday shopping and I'm going to get some fries because I'm planning to prepare uh, burgers tonight for dinner. My, do my little daughter really likes burgers but it varies from period to period. There are some times that she just wants to have a hot dog, sometimes that she would rather have burgers or you know. It's nice because it means that while making her happy, we can also have a slightly more varied uh, diet. It's not like she's uh, maybe the enemy is too far. It's not like she is very far. <laughs> it's not like she only wants to eat one thing. She has her favorite, of course: uh, cheese, uh, salmon, um, fries, hash brown. But the amount of favorites that she has uh, is. It is not limited, like she really has a lot of favorite, uh, which makes it easy to prepare meals for her. It makes it a bit expensive to go to the restaurant um, and feed her, uh, because she's five, uh, but she eats like a teenager in terms of amount, and she's not fat, because you know, if, if she was fat, uh, I would not be talking about this uh, as a something funny, we, we would be slightly concerned about it, but she's very slim, she's growing well, so... We are not concerned in the slightest. Especially because she enjoys uh, pretty healthy food. Uh, meat, fish, cheese, uh, rice, um, you know, all the sort of stuff uh, is what she prefers. And very often after school, when she comes back home, uh, she will come to me and ask for food. And she never asks for cookies or a cake. Uh, no, she, Dad, can I have some cheese? <laughs> While she's running at the fridge. Opening the door, and I thought, okay, fine, fine, daughter, grind a lot. Let's enjoy some cheese together. This is the last wave. I didn't read the shark friend. It's not the last wave. This is the three out of four, but that's pretty toxic. Actually, pretty toxic and triggering. Bunch of garbage. And what annoys me the most about these, these waves of trash enemies is that they act like the healy in Genshin Impact. Now, if you're not familiar with Genshin Impact because you've never played it, 
the healers in um, Genshin Impact that some of the first enemies that we meet in the game and they're all, all almost always, I would say always, uh, in the Abyss, which is the end game mode of Genshin Impact. And what triggers me about those enemies is that very often they don't do anything. They just walk around in circles. You, you see the guy on the left, he's just moving back and forth uh, like the stuntman in a movie. Like he's not attacking, he's not dodging, he's just staring at me, circling around me and <laughs> literally doing nothing. And it's Omega annoying because if they're attacking you, oh, oh I need to dodge, uh, there, there is something to do. Uh, but at least they, even if we're, even when they're not attacking you, they should come closer to us, you know, setting up an attack or whatever. Uh, because them staying five meters away from us and circling um, like that, doing nothing, is just a waste of time. I guess that there is the problem of being designed that if you just have enemies running in your direction, uh, you know, you can kite them, group them up very easily, and then it becomes harder to force people um, to play for characters with some uh, grouping abilities. Ah, here I'm getting bamboozled. Fine. But still, I believe there are ways around it. Like, don't make them walk in circles around us, at least that. Maybe let them stay a bit back and shoot, uh, uh, give them more aggressive um, uh, AI, less aggressive AI in some cases, but at least not doing the failed uh, Hollywood stuntman uh, movement. Those are pretty obnoxious. Did you get one shot? Yeah, thank god, save a bit of time. Hello, you got you. Oh, there's another wave after this. That's slightly annoying. I really like this thing. Seth needs a little bit of time on, on field, which is something that really makes me believe that he's going to be power crept. Uh, extremely soon as soon as we start getting uh, limited five star uh, could, could you let me play my character? as soon as we start to get um, limited five star supports uh, and they provide their buffs without needing a lot of sp of field time like Lucy I think the good old Seth uh, is going to be in a rough spot because Lucy doesn't need much time you know she just throws the piggy boncherino um, in, in the sky and things happen. It, it's pretty straightforward, but Seth is a little bit more, a pain, more of a pain in the ass to use. A bit like Rina. Rina, especially if you do not have uh, her first cinema, like, oh my god. <laughs> the buff lasts no time at all. And it's a problem with many supports. Really, really many supports. Which makes me think the limited 5-star supports uh, that Mihoyo has not given us yet are going to be all mega bust. And the first one is going to be Gigabait, of course, because it's going to be super busted, but it's going to be the first one. Meaning that it's going to get giga power crept extremely soon. So we will all be dumping uh, um, our polys on the first limited 5-star uh, support because this changes everything! She's insane! Or he's busted! You know, all the sort of stuff. And then the second limited 5-star support will be released and it will be even better. And we, we will all feel like absolute morons who have been played by fools. <laughs> I know Mihoyo well! It's not my first rodeo with Mihoyo. I know that all of this that I just said is going to happen. <laughs> That was a very slow, slow motion from Shinji. Uh, the, the AI of, of uh, that kind of enemy for me is fine, because he does a few things. Some are ranged and some are melee. But he never completely spends time just staring at us like a moron. If he's far away from us, he will shoot, uh, and he will try to approach, uh, and then he will attack us with melee attacks. He just doesn't waste our time. I can, I can respect it. 
can definitely respect him from an existential point of view. Dude still have a lot, still has a lot of hit points. I don't even remember which floor we are. What is it? Three? Four? Man, it really takes a lot of time. Uh, because I'm, I'm talking nonsense, I'm checking my phone uh, for, you know, work and family related messages. I'm thinking it's extremely slow. Like, I don't even know how many times I've been hit while doing. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Ellen is almost dead. <laughs> Speaking of wits. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah. We are 15 minutes in. Which Shiyu defense was this? Three or four? There is no way to know. Like, in order to know it, I would need to remember what's the level of each single Shiyu defense. It's not going to happen. Let's just keep going and call it a day. Oh, look, they did it. Oh, that's nice. Mihoyo knows these are my only characters. There is also Soldier 11, but she's so bad that I really refuse to play her. I, I just refuse to. Because when the game was released, she was considered a pretty good character due to lack of alternatives. But <laughs> she's actually giga trash. I'm sorry, Soldier 11. But <laughs> even having her signature weapon and having her at the um, Eidolon Constellation Cinema 2 or whatever it's called, man, she's so bad. She deals very little damage and you need to set it up properly and the duration of the buffs are very short. And oh. Like missing something with her because the enemy is moving or you need to dodge an attack or whatever is one of the worst feelings possible. And she deals very little damage. I was reading some people who have pulled for Bernice and um, they're claiming that crit Bernice is basically on par with the Soldier 11, which is extremely embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, you know, Ellen deals a very respectable amount of damage. Um, I, I cannot compare my uh, my Jean, uh, Jean, my Jane to my Ellen uh, because my Ellen build is okay, but nothing amazing. And I have two Adolon constellations of um, for Jane, whereas Ellen is just you know zero with her signature weapon. So there is a huge amount of, of, of difference in terms of investment, but between Helen at base copies and Soldier 11 at um, Eidolon 2, uh, I'm taking Helen all the time, it's not even close. M many of the standard banner characters have, have those issues, unfortunately. Either that the damage is S, or that they are S to play, or that the buffs don't last enough, or they, they don't really do much. Um, it's a shame, because especially in, um, in Onkaista Rail, uh, uh, all the standard banner characters, uh, depending on where you, are, where you are in the game, can be good to exceptional. And here it's like, yeah, sure, you can build your standard banner 5 star, but, you know, Thank you for your sources are limited. <laughs> there are some that are very good if you have some copies. Like, Irina, unironically, would be very, very good if her first Adolon was included in her, in her base kit, meaning that you do not need to switch to her every two seconds and a half just to refresh a buff. Is everything here? The buff are all still up. I lost track of the dude. See, even the big elite dudes, every now and then they have the healy the issue that don't do anything. Uh. And I was uh, saying earlier that I'm farming the, um, the ice uh, anomaly domain. I'm sorry, I will call them domain. I don't even know if I have a name in this game. 
And Vedia is that. I still do believe that Miyabi is going to be anomaly. And um, today they released the Arumaza, whatever his name is, uh, the drip marketing, and his attack. I really don't think we're getting true attack characters in the same patch. So my hunch that she's going to be uh, anomaly still stands. If she's anomaly, there is a very very good chance that the the ice set is going to be her best in slow. And we don't know her kit, we don't know much about her, but the, the ice set uh, is uh, very general use. Like, if you check the, the description in the game, uh, it does not increase crit, crit damage, or, or anything like that. It's a very good general way to increase damage. And unfortunately, not knowing, uh, well, first of all, whether Miyabi will be anomaly or not. And in addition to that, we don't know what she will be doing. It's not easy right now to tell whether she would prefer the ice set or an anomaly set or a new set that is going to be released. Absolutely no clue. Okay. I, everything here sucks. Uh, fine, let's keep it like this. But at least among the options that we have now, the ice set should not be bad for her, and uh, two pieces of the anomaly set should be good for her. Again, assuming she's an anomaly, and we will have to wait and see what happens. Uh, my only fear is um, Miyabi being an anomaly that needs crit or something along those lines, because I've been saving all the anomaly pieces uh, with the double crit just because. I do believe that it could happen that Mihoyo starts releasing those characters with weird scaling because we've been doing it in all over again. Uh, apart from Onkai Impact, but I'm not uh, familiar with the game. It's the only Onkai game that I don't play. Well, it's not true, I don't even play Tears of Tennis, so but there is a few Mihoyo games that I don't play. Wait, I'm almost dead, what the hell? Maybe I should focus on the game a little bit more, let's restart. Nah, you know what, let's not focus. Let I refuse to. I refuse to. I want to get rid of this um, quickly because I have um, a few hours available in the afternoon. Have some tiding, some post typhoon tiding to do at home, and uh, things to prepare for dinner because I'm the chef in charge. Plus, I have a model to build. I'm working on a on a model, um, a Gampla model, although it's not a Gundam. It's from a third-party manufacturer, but it's a an original design, so it, it's not like a Gundam knockoff. Uh, I don't like getting knockoff uh, because if it's a design of a, of a Gundam model, actually, you know, a Bandai a Namco model. Uh, I, I would rather I would rather get theirs, not just for the quality, but also you know, to support the company <laughs> that has been creating those series for such a very long time. But I'm absolutely fine with independent model maker companies releasing their own designs or as, as long as they are interesting and, you, and unique. And I'm building one which is called Trailblazer, which fits well with the on, uh, on steroids. Oh, this one is done. That was actually very quick, just by paying a tiny little bit more attention than usual. I'm finding building uh, models uh, to be a very, very nice um, hobby. It's something that I mention every now and then on my Discord uh, and during my streams, when I can stream, uh, that when I was a kid, um, well, one of, them, of my early most traumatic experiences was uh, walking outside of a games workshop shop when I was probably, I would say, eight or nine, because I remember I was going to elementary school and I saw some kids inside and all the miniatures and it looked fun and I had a look and my mom was with me and I was like, no, 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 that's not for you, that's too difficult. And I was like, what the fuck, but there are some kids my age, one of them is arguably younger than me. What the hell, mom, she has no faith in my IQ. She was right in doing so, but still it hurt me a bit. And um, I only started to play Games Workshop games and, you know, in general, miniature games uh, much, much later. And a, th a thing that annoyed me about that uh, and that I only found out much later in life uh, is also the fact when I was a kid, uh, I really liked to play with robots, transformers and all this sort of stuff, which is great. I had a lot of fun with those and everything was good. 
but at the time, if instead of getting me the, you know, Transformers or a random plastic robot, they actually got uh, the Bandai models for me, uh, they would have been a lot cheaper and I would have been able to build them by myself, which is a very, very fun and soothing experience for me. Uh, there is a lot to do in building models. Uh, you, you don't have to, to paint them. If you want, you can do that. But just, uh, you know, taking out from the runners, sending them... Uh, uh, they don't really need the glue, but every now and then it's nice to apply it in certain areas to remove... Uh, um, the, the fissure <laughs> between parts, I don't know the name <laughs> in English. <laughs> but there is a little gap sometimes between parts. And it's nice to send it out and use, uh, using a little bit of glue first uh, to, re to remove it. It's um, a very fun activity. And in the evening, uh, especially, it's nice to give a break uh, to my eyes from a monitor. Uh, because, you know, staying at monitors all day for work, for fun, for content creation, for... That, that was a giat! Uh, for content creation, for, um, I don't know, rewatching Evangelion or some other anime for the 28 million time. It's nice at the end of the day to spend uh, a hour or a couple of hours at my desk uh, listening to some uh, magic frog dungeon music uh, <laughs> and relaxing my eyes doing something. Magic frog dungeon music is... Uh, dungeon synth uh, is, is a kind of music that I like a lot uh, and when I play it my daughter always asks me uh, not to use the headphones because she likes that music, she wants to hear it. And so I play it uh, actually using the speakers. And um, there is uh, a guy of which I absolutely do not remember the name uh, who has a frog um, in, in basically all his album covers. And I have his old discography of uh, uh, synth music. And for her, that one is the Magic Frog Dungeon Music. So we like to listen to that music together more than many other things. Sometimes we build the models uh, together as well. Recently I found out that um, uh, Bandai also has uh, uh, buildable Pokémon models. Which is amazing, because they're designed for smaller kids and my daughter uh, is just about at the right age to build them by herself. She struggles a little bit with the, with the bigger ones, but they're very simple builds and she can do almost everything by herself. Like when I give her a Wigglypuff and a... Uh, what's his face? Pikachu. She managed to build them completely by herself. I only helped her a little bit to take out the pieces from the runners so that it would be a little bit cleaner. Was it done? Oh! I thought it would be one more way. But the fact that she can do it by herself uh, while I'm her little helper is great because usually she is my little helper but with the bigger uh, plastic models there is not much she can do apart from handling the runners to me and doing other things that, you know, she enjoys doing for the company and for being there together with me, but she finds it a little bit boring, uh, you know, the activity itself, because there isn't much to do for her. But most of the pieces are too small, and I need to use a knife. Uh, it's not called a knife, uh, but, you know, it's sort of a knife to, to clean the pieces well, so she cannot stay close to that. Uh, building some Pokémon together is fine, though while listening to the Magic Frog uh, dungeon music. I, I will have to link uh, in the description the, the, the thing I'm talking about, because sometimes when I talk semi-randomly about things, I often worry that people will think, man, this guy is having a, a, a senility uh, <laughs> slash <laughs> mental debacle moment. What the hell is he even talking about? But no, it's true, it's all stuff that exists. Like, my mental capabilities are not getting w better over the course of time, but I'm still, you know, in a fairly reasonable situation, uh, me mentally speaking. I, I tend to forget the things that I've always uh, tended to forget uh, in my own life, meaning uh, birthdays, phone numbers, I have no idea about most of them, including relatives and close friends. Uh, but someone, if someone cuts me off on the road and I see their plate, I'm going to remember it for years and years and years. 
<laughs> Just thinking that piece of trash. If I see him on the road again, I'm going to run him over. <laughs> no, no, allegedly, I'm joking, of course. Just kidding, just kidding. Don't worry, Taiwan uh, Police Department. I support you ent entirely. I would never do anything like that. Um, mostly because doing illegal things is such a pain in the ass. There are too many annoying things going on about doing illegal stuff, so it's better not doing it. What are we done here? Not yet. I believe she should have all the buffs. If, if she doesn't trick me, okay, she has all the buffs. She's almost dead, by the way. I'm literally not paying any attention. The cool thing about this game mod for me is that it's um, it's a DPS check, so there is no need to worry about dodging. Like I would never do something like this, uh, recording and talking while I clear for the for the ambush node, because those nodes require a, bit, a little bit of attention, especially if you want to do a, a, a fairly decent showcase. Uh, because you get hit a couple of times, you die, and you saw Mega Batman. Here, no, you can spend most of the time getting hit and nothing really bad happens. I don't think we can stun it one more time before it dies. It's going to be dead before the fact. I think. I hope. It's taking very long. But again, people very, very often uh, underestimate uh, the amount uh, of time that we waste when we talk nonsense and then we're focused on other things which is uh, like I, I really honestly not joking highly respect the streamers who can actually provide good quality gameplay while talking because if you're streaming or um, recording content and you're completely silence in, in complete silence and focus on the game okay that that's something that i would be able to do as well but um, people who talk during all their streams uh, consistently and engaging with their audience while also being able to play their games well uh, uh, for me it's absolutely unfathomable uh, especially for hard content like uh, first person shooters and stuff like that I, I would never be able to do it absolutely ever yeah, we did it! We got some fat loot! Um, how far is um, the new banner? It's uh, four days, uh, meaning... Uh, uh, I need to check the timing. Sometimes there is an empty day between, sometimes there is like half, a, a half an empty day, day in between. Mm, it could be happening one, two, three, four. It could be next Wednesday that we have uh, Yanagi. I will definitely not be able to stream the pools, but at least uh, I will be recording them and see what happens. And we will be we will be doing a little bit of we changes everything. Oh my god, uh, we, we are going to do it. We are going to do it. Uh, at least I'm, a guarantee, I'm guaranteed to get her. I'm not so sure about her light con weapon engine thingy. Yeah, this, this one is going to be a little bit harder, but we shall see. I'm not particularly impressed with her, uh, with her early Mindscape uh, thingies, so I'll probably just get Yanagi, try to get her engine, and then I will be out of there waiting for Miyabi. And probably by tomorrow, Around this time, at the time of the recording, we will know what Miyabi is. Anomaly, attack, ice, uh, lightning, fire, support. <laughs> it would be the funniest thing ever if Miyabi was a support. <laughs> it would be so funny. <laughs> in, in a joker way. <laughs> but it would be really funny. Anyway, that, that is all. I talked about uh, a, a lot of nonsense. We died once. We cleared everything while paying very little attention to it. Uh, this issue defense is just designed uh, for um, both for Bernice and uh, Yanagi. So if you got to if, if you got to Bernice and you're going to pull for Yanagi, you, you could basically set up a macro on your keyboard and be good with it. Otherwise, maybe it will require a little bit more work, but 
didn't feel particularly difficult for me, even in the in the stages where I was using L and, um, and Friends uh, rather than uh, Jane Doe and Friends. Uh, today is Friday, so enjoy your weekend, guys. Bye and take care.